It's an announcement for X30 senior driver uh, Gus Lawrence. Gus Lawrence, can you please head to the steward's office immediately, please? That's uh, X30 senior driver Gus Lawrence. We need you at the steward's office immediately, please. Thank you. Well, we're going to move on then to the next X30 senior heat, which will be for groups. Uh, what groups have we not completed yet? This is the uh, last of our eight groups, groups A and F. And we're having a, a look at the drivers now, starting on the inside row. Reese Viveret is going to be going off uh, pole position. Looking at the points earlier, Reese Viveret currently 40 seconds. Now, it's not uh, impossible that he can't still make a automatic a final place he can because he's going off pole position in both of it and the rest of his final heats today so uh, Reese Viveret looking for some good results likewise uh, Jeffrey Baldo is going along pretty well he's 10th in the standings so far today so Jeffrey Baldo starting to the outside of the front row Callum Bradshaw has not had the best of luck so far this weekend but 20th in the uh, heats classification at the moment. He's on the inside of row two, alongside Lorenzo Travis Anuto, who's uh, been one of the quickest drivers this weekend. He's not had the best of luck though, and is currently 28th in the heats classification. So uh, Lorenzo Travis Anuto doesn't need any more bad results. Julian Sanson and Felix Varge are on the third row. Varge in the top 10, ninth place in the uh, standings at the moment. Uh, Julian Sanson, on first glance, can't quite see uh, exactly where he is. But, uh, Julian Sanson starting on the inside of the third row. We'll definitely uh, figure that one out. Mark Litchfield does have a MA final spot at the moment. He is 19th place overall. He's going to start this one on the inside of row four alongside Morgan Porter. Uh, Morgan Porter has had a pretty mixed bag but it's 30th overall at the moment so that would be a guaranteed place in the A final. Roman Bonetto is on the inside of row 5 alongside Elliot Harvey. Elliot Harvey 21st uh, overall in terms of points and Roman Bonetto I think is actually outside of a, an A final spot so that could do uh, with some good results here. Dennis Laflamme, Schwab, Shaney, Barrichello, Francis Morgan, Mercer, Ward, uh, Brett Ward desperately needs some good results and a DNF yesterday where well, he didn't start on the heaps I think probably with the airbox and it's Bart Flynn Senhan Percival Pryor Legletin Borelli and Guvarts Shelley and uh, Alakolpi Denning and Kowalski Halloween and Colt Takagi Vital McGovern and Capsis Bruno Voici uh, la grille de départ pour la manche qualificative en extrême senior suite et quasiment à la fin d'un temps avec uh, les pilotes des Groupa et F c'est uh, Riss Vivret numéro 325 Le pilote belge du VDK Racing qui sera le pilote de la pole position. Il est avec, euh, comme voisin de première ligne, le pilote du VDK Racing. Mieux, le français le mieux placé sur cette grille, c'est euh, Geoffrey Bodo. Callum Bradshaw et Lorenzo Travizanuto qui font partie euh, très clairement des euh, favoris aussi pour ce week-end vont s'élancer de la deuxième ligne de la grille euh, de départ. Julien Sanson et Félix Vargé, euh, un duo franco-belge pour la troisième ligne de la grille. Marc Litchfield et Morgan Porter sur la quatrième. Romain Bonetto avec euh, le numéro 215 va ouvrir la cinquième ligne de la grille de départ. Elliot Harvey sera à ses côtés. Axel Laflamme, Christopher Schwab sur la ligne suivante. Christopher Chani et Nour Barrichello vont s'élancer depuis la septième ligne. On retrouvera ensuite euh, eh bien, Justin Francis, pilote australien, et Derek Morgan, numéro 388, sur la huitième ligne. Alain Mercer sera sur la neuvième avec Brett Ward. Nicolas Baert pour la Belgique, numéro 258, en dixième ligne de grille de départ devant Jamie Flynn. Euh, les autres pilotes de la délégation France, Antoine Perceval en particulier, s'élancera numéro 257 depuis la onzième ligne ligne de, de grille. Charlotte Morelli également avec le numéro 316 depuis la 13 e ligne de cette même grille de, de départ avec Yann Gouvert qui sera son voisin. Etienne Shelley euh, à la Lupki numéro euh, 362 en 14 e ligne. Font partie des pilotes. C'est à l'instant le départ qui est donné. Riss euh, Vivrette part bien. Oui attention hein, d'attaque par l'extérieur de Geoffrey Baudot. Pas mal. Premier ouais. ou deuxième Est-ce que c'est bien lui qui euh, est effectivement parti ainsi Ouais, me semble-t-il, Geoffrey Baudot en deuxième position. Riz Vivret, leader, Christ. Yes, uh, by the way, on Julian Sanson, he's uh, currently 59th in the Heat's uh, classification overall, so fighting, I'd say, to get as high up the uh, order in the B final as he can at this stage. It'd be uh, a good 
good effort if we could make the A final. Brett Ward, for some reason, had to start from the pit lane. Not too sure why, but a Brett Ward has just not had any luck at all. Uh, Viverett is leading. Bradshaw's about to take second place as we go down into the left-hander. There you go, the CRG driver going through, and Travis Anuto is trying to get third place and is actually going to lose a place to Felix Varje. Felix mm. Varje now takes third place on the exit from Jeffrey Baldo, who is in fourth place. Then it's Travis Anuto, Julian Sampson, as we said, these good results today. Then it's uh, Barnetto. Oh, and a bit of contact there. Sampson's going to go past Travis Anuto. Litchfield queued up behind. Then it's uh, Roman Bonetto, and behind Bonetto we have Christopher Shaney. Elliot Harvey is there as well. Elliot Harvey with a space in the A final at the moment. So uh, just could do with uh, two solid top 10 finishes and he should be there. Elliot Harvey as we uh, make our way down towards the airport. Mitchfield in the middle of the screen there. Just uh, trying to make places and uh, must hold off the challenges of uh, Roman Bonetto. Reese Viveret pulling away out front. No Bruno. Good uh, drive from the Belgian so far and that's a change isn't it from uh, I think Julian Sanson making the place on Jeffrey Baldo let's uh, confirm as they come across the line is that Sanson now in fourth yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> 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 the screen refreshed eventually Oui, bon départ des euh, Belges avec euh, Rhys Vivret en leader avec Félix euh, Varger en troisième position entre les deux il y a l'anglais Callum Bradshaw Julien Sanson et Geoffrey Baudot malgré un bon départ euh, Julien Baudot est pour l'instant Geoffrey Baudot pardon est en euh, cinquième position Julien Sanson qui euh, le devance Marc euh, Lutfield est à la sixième place Lorenzo Travizanuto pour l'instant on serait tenté de dire que Septième en ce moment, et évidemment rien n'est euh, joué euh, encore, ce que l'on aime bien suivre euh, aussi ici, c'est le duel entre Callum Bradshaw et, euh, et Félix Vargé au bout de la ligne droite, mais le virage du Technopark est arrivé trop vite ici. Callum Bradshaw restant euh, deuxième position, attention Chama est davantage derrière, Marc Litchfield dans la de Travitanuto, Christopher Chani, Romain Bonetto également dans le groupe qui va repasser aussi sur la ligne de chronométrage. Félix Vargé, 55 secondes, 483 millième record du tour. Julien Sanson, Geoffrey Baudot sont toujours en 4 et 5ème position. Yes, and you can probably see Callum at the uh, 24 hour. He was here, of course, um, two weeks ago with the CRG team, as was Lorenzo Travis and Nuto. That team as well, so they're both currently in the top five at the moment. They finished second at that event. Rhys Viveret, though, second in the Belgian Championship. A driver who uh, doesn't really race on a European stage, just races nationally. That's what his uh, budget can uh, afford him to do. But uh, now, having qualified to do this, Rhys Viveret was the quickest of the uh, 144 drivers Wednesday evening and going along very well in this one. He has had some bad luck. Rhys Viveret is trying to come from 42nd today up into the top 33 to get an automatic A final spot. And with results like this, he might just do it. But uh, Callum Bradshaw starting to apply the mm. pressure in second place. Felix Varje is quickest on track in third. Julian Sanson desperately needs good results. There goes Ooh Bradshaw, la la. takes yeah. the lead from Reed Viveret. Felix Varje still there in third. Sanson does need good results in fourth place. Likewise, uh, Mark... Uh, Mark Litchfield, Lorenzo Travis Anuto in fifth place, and then in sixth place we have Jeffrey Baldo with uh, Mark Litchfield sixth. Derek Morgan has just gone up to uh, seventh place, it seems. Uh, that must have been an instant somewhere. Derek oh, Morgan. yes, yes, at the uh, yes. chicane, pif yes. pas. Oh, là, oh, trois wow. pilotes. Trois pilotes qui sont partis en tête avec eux. Et juste dire que Callum Bradshaw, auteur d'un départ absolument génial. Alors qu'à l'image, ici on a le numéro 258, c'est Nicolas Abert, le pilote belge, qui s'arrête. Euh, Callum Bradshaw était l'auteur d'un dépassement ultra spectaculaire après le virage le, le 24. C'est lui qui est en tête devant Félix Varger à l'instant. Julien Sanson également qui est passé en troisième position devant Riz Vivret. Lorenzo Travizanuto, le poleman des 24 heures cartignes pour l'instant. Euh, à la cinquième place devant Geoffrey Baudot, une très très belle manche qualificative pour les X30 seniors en groupe A et F. Callum Bradshaw est euh, devant, Félix Varzé en deuxième position et donc Julien Sanson à la lutte pour au moins la troisième place à l'arrivée. Nous sommes dans le sixième tour. Bradshaw, Barge, Sanson, Viveret, Travis Anuto. Oh, and there, well, there's Travis Anuto goes past Reese Viveret. Good move from the Italian. So just behind. Uh, Viveret, who's uh, falling backwards in this one, is Jeffrey Baldo. Then it is uh, Mark Litchfield. Mark Litchfield, uh, about one and a half seconds back 
from this league group at the moment. Oh, and then, then it's yeah. Elliot Harvey, who's actually just gone past Derek Morgan. Also going past Derek Morgan, I think, was Christopher Shaney. Yeah, Christopher Shaney, and then it's actually a Flamengo left. Ah oui, très bonne performance en premier secteur de Christopher Chani pour l'instant en 9e position. Il était particulièrement vite dans ce 6e tour. Félix Varger aussi a tenté un dépassement juste avant, avant le virage du 24. Il est pour l'instant en 2e position. Donc il y a Callum Bradshaw et changement de leader avant yes, la parabolique. Oh, et de nouveau changement de, de leader. Callum Bradshaw à la sortie de ce banking qui a repris la tête de la course. Est-ce que Julien Sanson va être en position d'attaque au freinage Attention à Julien Sanson qui est aussi oh, attaqué par Lorenzo Travizanuto oui. qui va peut-être même réussir finalement à s'emparer de la troisième place. C'est l'italien. On va le, le revoir, Chris, avec le passage sur une de chronométrage. Un, Callum Bradshaw. Deux, Félix Varger. Et trois, Lorenzo Travizanuto. Travizanuto, pardon, devant Riz Vivrette. Demain, Julien Sanson perd deux places ici. Il est cinquième. So a lot happened on that lap, didn't it? Bradshaw, uh, well, Varje tried to move on Bradshaw, then Bradshaw came straight back past in the same corner. Varje now saying to Bradshaw, get on with it. Bradshaw wanted him to follow, but then defend him. So uh, not too sure what's going on here. Travis Nuto has gone through to third, though, past uh, Reese Viverette. Here's a, uh, oh, here's, well, here we go. So Felix Varje in second place. It was, uh, it was close enough to make the move, went up the inside and uh, just ran a bit wide mid-corner and Callum Bradshaw easily retaking that lead back. Now we've had a change for second. Travis Anuto has just gone through to second place and going through to fourth place. Oh, a bit of contact. Oh, Viveretta yeah. off the track there. Now that was Julian Sanson trying to make the move for fourth place. Viveret has been pushed wide and mm. Litchfield has been gifted fifth place, Bruno. Yeah, oui, Riz Viveret in seventh position. Geoffrey Baudot et lui se sont euh, touchés, le Belge en a un peu fait les frais, disons-le. Geoffrey Baudot est en quatrième position. Lorenzo Travizanuto, c'est ça l'élément essentiel observé dans le huitième tour. Il est passé en deuxième position devant Félix Varger. Il est déchaîné. La cible de Lorenzo Travizanuto maintenant va être bien sûr en anglais Callum Bradshaw. Ils reviennent vers oh, le banquier et comme tout à l'heure, il tente de faire euh, l'intérieur. Cette fois, Lorenzo Travizanuto est passé. Callum Bradshaw n'a pas réussi à repasser à la sortie de ce banquier en première position, l'Italien Lorenzo Travitanuto est un leader le virage du Technopark l'Italien reste devant, Braccio est en deuxième position, Félix Varger 3 et Geoffrey Baudot est à la quatrième place fin du neuvième tour Travis Anuto then, he's been one of the quickest drivers this weekend, yeah. ranked 28 he won't be happy with that, he want to be as far forward as possible, oh, le le Callum Braccio oh, oh, oh contact there, Braccio Incroyable. trying to retake the lead Varger from uh, Travis Anuto and just a little bit of contact between the pair, oh Another uh, contact. Yeah, well, Callum Bradshaw trying to go past Varje. Varje getting his elbows out, and uh, Bradshaw forced to back out of the move. Now drops to fourth place for Jeffrey Baldo. Baldo, troisième, je crois. Third. Julian Sanson is still there in fifth place, and it's Litchfield. Viverat Christopher Shaney is up to eighth place, having passed Elliot Harvey, and Axel Laflamme has gone past Derek Morgan for tenth place as well, as uh, leaders now heading down the back straight one more time. Felix. Uh, Varje in second place left to try and chase Lorenzo Travis Anuto, who looks like he uh, has enough of a lead to uh, win this one. Third place should be the uh, go the way of uh, Jeffrey Baldo, but mm -hmm. fourth is still up for grabs between uh, Callum Bradshaw and Julian Sampson as they headed towards the first corner. Our last lap board is out. Oui, c'est le dernier tour et uh, Geoffrey Baudot avec un Callum Bradshaw malmené et qui a mal vécu euh, finalement les dépassements de Lorenzo Travizanuto et de Félix Varge 1 et 2 c'est euh, même fait euh, dépasser pour la troisième place par Geoffrey Bodo il est donc troisième, Callum Bracho est en quatrième position légèrement détaché maintenant du trio Travizanuto, Varge, Bodo, Julien Sanson à la lutte Derrière euh, Callum Bradshaw en ce moment, Mark Litchfield est à la sixième place devant Rhys Vivret, Christopher Chenier huitième, euh, Lyot Harvey neuvième et euh, Axel Laflamme pour la dixième position. La ligne droite, trop d'écart entre les pilotes, au moins du euh, trio de tête pour euh, qu'il y ait un dépassement sauf erreur de pilotage, mais ce ne sera pas le cas avant euh, le franchissement de la ligne d'arrivée en vue maintenant pour Lorenzo Travizanuto, le pilote des 24 heures cardinal en pôle il y a deux semaines, s'impose ici, Félix Varger termine de Geoffrey Baudot 3. Callum Bradshaw 4, Julien Sanson en 5 e position. Euh, donc Mark Richfield pour la 6 e place, Rhys Wilbert pour la 7 e Christopher Charney, Daniel Torvey, Axel Laflamme pour le top 10. 
euh, Etienne Chili termine 15, Charlotte Morelli brillante 16 e bravo, Charlotte Antoine Perceval 28 e Romain Bonetto euh, 29 e finalement. Perfect race that for Lorenzo Travisanito. Great overtakes, brilliant pace as well. And Lorenzo Travisanito will be moving up from 28th in the classification he's ranking after that one. Second place went the way of Felix Varge. He'll be moving forward from ninth place after that. Jeffrey Baldo was in third place. He's 10th overall at the moment. And that a good result from the French driver. Callum Bradshaw, fourth place for him. Julian Sampson, a much needed good result uh, for him in fifth place. And it was Mark Nitschfield, sixth. Reese Viveret, and may fall a bit disappointed with seven as he is uh, fighting for an A final space. And it was Christopher Shaney in eighth, Elliot Harvey ninth, Axel Laflamme is 36th at the moment, and that's his second best result of the weekend in 10th place, so I think he'll be pretty happy with that. Derek Morgan was 11th, and it was Mercer, Porter, Francis, and Shaley. That's how close the lead pack was. Travis and Nuto were leading the way. A couple of incidents breaking it up, but uh, you can see in the background there, we had the likes of Shaney, Harvey, Laflamme, all catching the uh, fourth place battle with uh, that all going off. Behind uh, uh, Shaley, we had Morelli, Guvart, La Colpe, Brett Ward did good from the pit lane to finish 19th, and it was Noel Barrichello in 20th, and it was Hallerud, Senham, Colk, Denning, Legletin, McGovern, Kowalski, Percival, Benetto, Takagi rounded out the top 30, Bruno. Oui, avec euh, Lorenzo Travita, nous te rappelons encore une fois vainqueur ici. Nous avions donné le détail du euh, top 10 et euh, donné également quelques-unes des places pour les euh, pilotes qui euh, suivait dans ce classement, en tout cas pour la délégation France. Derek Morgan termine à la 11e place, Adam Mercer à la 12e, Morgan Porter à la 13e place, Justin Francis 14e et Etienne Shelley euh, 15e.